You thought. guys are wonderful. Yeah. It's a true thing. It's a true thing. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> we have some amazing speakers coming up too. Uh, no. Our next organization. Who here is a fan of hip hop? Just in general. <laughs> yeah. Uh, me too, me too. Our next organization is a 501c3 funded organization whose mission is to bring awareness to people about socioeconomic injustice through the history, culture, teachings, and power of hip hop. Okay? So give it up for our next big girl Hip Hop for Change. All the way from Hunters Point, San Francisco, Joffrey J. Yay. Come on, Joffrey. Go. Jeff. Come here, man. Go get him. Go get him. When I say hip, you say hop. Hip. Y'all hip. When I say real, y'all say talk. We want real. We want real. Guess what, y'all? I'm a little bit nervous right now. It's okay. That's human, but you know why? Because when you start a social justice nonprofit, you learn a lot about space. I used to tell girls to smile. On the street. I had to take the B words out of my raps, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a cisgender. Yeah. You know, to be quite honest, I'm a cisgendered hood hip hop cat from Hunter's Point. All right? Straight up. Shout out to my natives out there, real talk. But I wanna say it like this is that the only thing that I can say is that when you think of hip hop and when you think of cultures and when you think of people's lives, it means so much. All right, so I was the first black city coordinator for Greenpeace San Francisco. Woo! All right, and it's really hard for black people to get credit cards on the street corner, uh, if y'all don't know. But I did really well, and when I left them, I decided to start my own nonprofit where we stand in affluent, mostly white neighborhoods. <laughs> Straight up. And we talk about race, social justice, and the co-optation of hip hop. I mean, Real talk, essentially what we do, we stand on the corner with loaded weapons, possession, fully automatic, spitting lessons, no pulling punches, I'm stressing that real true level hunches, I'm serving lunches, the real facts, the bunches that walk by, like here yeah, we talk fly. We raise G's, inspiring people to think higher of a culture, I get my and that fire to sick and tired, I get my class, get why you're trying to break dance. A rap, a graffiti, they shy but they try to take a chance in my class cause it's hip hop, yeah, it's a culture. Educate the kids to lift their minds about the sofa. Educate the people on the streets like I told ya. We raise G's, pay the MC's and take it over. That's hip hop for changing a nugget. The industry won't serve the people's needs so we say, we created jobs to get support from the public and build our own stage. Now tell me if y'all love it. Burn. I'm gonna give y'all some stats. Last year, we paid a really diverse staff to have 26,000 conversations in affluent white neighborhoods about what we go through in a block, in a hood. And you need to know one thing right now. It's Taco Bell Mexican. And nobody thinks so, right? But we got three corporations that own 90% of the platform and depiction of my freaking culture. And people think that that's hip hop. All right? And we got jerks in every community, but we got three companies that invest in ours. And that's horrible. Guess what? Who buys hip hop? 75% suburban white men between 18 and 24. Now I'm not knocking, that's entertainment, I guess, because all American media is sex, drugs, and money. But that's not us, and when it's with a brown face, it's bad. You wanna know why? Because we are more segregated than we've ever been, than we ever been before. 75% of white people report not having people of color for friends, let alone a hood black dude like me. But it doesn't stop them from having opinions, does it? Right? That's why Mexicans are all of a sudden bad for the economy, right? And gay people are trying to mess up marriages that are already screwed up with heterosexuals anyway. Right. But since we're so yeah. people still have opinions. So when I say hello on the corner, talk to me about race and social justice, people with babies grab their babies. And sometimes they walk across the street. And I say, I don't eat babies, I'm full. Yeah. But we stand out there and we teach. 
and we raised money in two years we've taught 3,000 kids in 50 schools the history of hip-hop expression <laughs> and find their identity because there's one rule in hip-hop and that's to keep it real. Yeah! Can I talk? Woo! So before I introduce the next person that's about to get up, I just want to say, I'm free. Inside of my mind, I keep peeking that heat seeking, this lyrical street sweeping, that deep speaking, so my fam can keep keeping. I got beats leaking. God damn it, be sleeping on these streets weeping. It's weak, we still scrapping for ill rapping. Grills and dollar bills happen to kill that when corporate shields will fill black men with deal packing thugs. Skills lacking love and brothers die. So we gotta take back the flow. For these suckers who stuck us to the fake raps that blow a brother's brains away. Away the flavors of the hood. And the casualty is actually we, so we can get to that right brain. Cause out the game, I spread my wings on the better things. Taste whatever weather brings and what every means. Taste the level never seen by these troubled kings in search of green. See? Let's do it. Hipopforchange.org. Like us on Facebook. Come to a show. Rock. And if y'all don't know, we rock by now. I'm about to introduce one of the baddest MCs. Not a, not a female MC, not a queer MC, but an MC, right? Yeah. An MC, right? Yeah. One of the baddest. Y'all are in for a treat. I want y'all to make some noise louder than you ever have in the planet for baby Chris, y'all. Yeah. 